Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, we have the anti-spawn recruiter, XP hoarder, best E-tier leader, earliest hookers pusher, banned from every War of Rights Discord, public enemy number one, Cornwallis! Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, we have Racer the Racist! Down view of the whole thing. All right, gentlemen, I want to right, fight Bartley. nothing yeah. below the belt. You're going to double quick to each side of the pontoon bridge. Turn and shoot. Go on my pistol fire. Ready? Get set. I put the new forges on the jeep. I trap it till the blood of bottoms is underneath. Cause all my homies got it out the street. I gave a honey rats inside my jail. I remember hitting the mall with my whole team. Now a homie can't answer calls cause I'm all in. I was waking up getting rats in the morning. I was broke, now I'm rich. I got them salty. I've been waking up to get the money. Whoa, whoa. Got a bad chick of booty teddy, whoa, whoa. Eventually on my toes, twins, I'm getting them both. I put her in a new AP that wore her like a boat. I was down bad on my stick, where was my brother's at? I know you turned your back on me just to get some racks. I seen you swerve back, cause I'm in a black bag. New diamonds on me, bump a flash, this ain't Snapchat. Cause I've been getting paid. Yellow diamonds on me, look like lemonade. Got my baby mama well, Ladies and gentlemen, we have Racer here. At the opposite end of the Pontoon Bridge, Cornwall is taking a crouching stance. Cornwall misses, Racer misses. They're both dog shit at aiming. Cornwall he's crouching and reloading. It's going to take longer to reload. That's an advantage Racer has. He's teabagging. He's teabagging. This is a flex, ladies and gentlemen. Now, many of you may not know, but this here is a battle of the ages that has been going on. It's similar to Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. Oh, Racer takes a shot. Ooh. Racer takes his shot, standing still to reload. He's getting more shot. He's getting shots off quicker than Corn is. Oh, he's dodging. He's Ooh. weaving. Oh, that was a close one. Ooh, we hear the bullet whiz. Partly, you want to take it from here? This is my yes, co-announcer. Yes, sir. We have a lovely day here at Harper's Ferry. Stars and stripes are waving proud. Two egos butt heads over a long rivalry that comes to an ugly conclusion, leading in one's disgraceful defeat. Ooh. I saw a bullet impact right next to Cornwallis, but just, just too far. Yes, and a bullet whizzed by Racer. He had to duck. No telling who can win. Yes, the the amount of suck is equal. Cornwallis hugging for cover. An unconventional but useful tactic never seen in the professional dueling league. Ooh. Corn oh my. Cornwallis misses his shot, possibly due to ra racers jinking. He's going left, right, dodging left, right. Or to the pot. Or to the very infamous muzzle cone that has caused Ooh, many a contestant with an easy win to lose their life. This is true. We hear the common John, the muzzle cone. Smash players call it lag. War of Rights players call it muzzle cone. Oh, shot whizzing right over Racer's head. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go take a look on Cornwallis's side. Trash talk from Cornwallis. Though, I think Racer's a bit too hard of hearing, or just too far away to hear it. Yes, it, it is a very rough rapid today. The stream is mm -hmm. pretty heavy. I don't know if it'll carry across. Corn sitting there flexing. Flexing on Racer, giving him a free shot. Will it be his this downfall? Is... Or the flex of an era. Oh, oh and he misses it, whizzes corn getting ready to Hitting take the his shot. Bridge in front, corn counters with counter fire. Whew. 
That was a close one. I think it's due to racers uh, ducking and weaving. A very valid tactic. Seems racers in it to win it. Ooh, Cornwallis calling Racer a bitch. Another Racer shot. missing. This may be the Cornwallis league's first. Flexing. The league's first ammo shortage. We've never had two contestants fire all 50 shots from their rifles. Ladies and gentlemen, this may come down to a bayonet. Partly, what are your thoughts? I don't know. It'd be a world's first. The 1862 League's never seen anything like this. I would have to agree. It looks like Korn has gone from the strategy of just straight flexing on them to moving left and right and crouching for his shots. Mm, the pressure might be getting to him. You you see a key mistake here by Cornwallis. He's reloading while crouching. That will cost him time. Very, very noob mistake and he's interrupted his reload to Ooh. try and dodge affording racer even more time though it may be working in his favor if racer expends all his shots he'll have no choice but to finish him off with a bayonet leading for a very easy kill corn goes for the 360 yy ladder stall Ooh. crouches oh just above his head very hitting close. the dirt behind him very close Ladies and gentlemen, we're going on six minutes and 30 seconds of a battle. I've never seen such shittery when it comes to mm -hmm. aiming. It's almost fantastic. This is a very unusual match. It's just before the match started, both the contestants agreed to use the new mini ball instead of the traditional buck and ball. It is kind of a shame that buck and ball torture is falling out of sorts nowadays in favor of the mini ball, but... Who knows? Maybe fans Ooh. will like the more drawn-out, intense rounds. Or simply, they wish for the classic cottagecore carnage that Buck and Ball gives you. I have to say, I am an old school. I do like the Buck and Ball. Mm -hmm. I'm personally a big fan of the Pistol League. Oh. I think the Pistol League will pick up here in the future. I've heard it's out west. It's all the rage. Yes, them cowboys, they do tend to rely on the Pistol League a lot more. And I will say, it's a little bit more intimate. It is. Many players in the Cowboy League have been known to carry multiple wheel guns. Though, that is banned here in the East. Only one man is allowed to use a wheel gun. One wheel gun per man. Ooh, that was a close one, folks. Very close. We're going on eight minutes here, ladies and gentlemen, and still no death. I will have to say, do you think the Maidens will look favorably upon this, or do you think they will despair? Hmm. Who knows? Maidens may think it is cowardice fight at such a long range almost as both contestants don't want to die minimizing their risk of death it's very dishonorable yes it, it seems like a similar strategy to not broadsiding towards the person you're shooting at in the pistol league and instead turning your shoulder to create a smaller angle yeah Ladies and gentlemen, we're joined now by our shooting specialist, Elmer Ellsworth. What is your take on this battle at the moment, sir? I'm looking at this fight and I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking, hey, what would I do if I was here? And, you know, I'm I'm looking at the shots that are going on and I'm, I'm seeing, honestly, kind of seems a whole lot like the muzzle cone. You know, some people say that the muzzle cone is fake. Some people say that it's a lie. Okay, some people might call it a myth. Okay, me personally, with my... You know, 200 hours alone. You know what? 200,000 hours alone at the range. Okay, I'm 
I'm well versed. I'm well educated, right? And me personally, right now, I'm looking at the perspective of Cornwallis, right? And I'm just thinking to myself, what would you know? What would I do? And right now, he's crouch spamming, and me personally, I would probably reload my gun if I was in that position. Nice. But um, you know, then again, I would also probably you know hit my shots if I was in that position. So you know, very racer <clears throat> counter. It's a you know, it's 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 a rough position to be in, and it's I can't one can't exactly say what they would do in this position, but hey, I can tell you that I'm looking at some of these shots, and I'd be very very scared if I was these gentlemen, especially because this man is ordering arms right now. Oh, now he's I think that's in place rest. Ooh, this intimidating is the opponent as an fight. expert, Elmer. Absolutely. What do you say to that? Is valid strategy well, or a simple waste <clears> of time? Ooh, racer with the counter bag. Seems well, gentlemen, both, honestly, both these gentlemen are butting heads. Baited well, gentlemen, when the when the when, 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 when I personally rather just be for honor. There's no like the, the entirety of your honor is already on the line. I make a game out of it already. That shot was incredibly close, gentlemen. I'm. I'm so serious. This is very, very. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going on 11 minutes now and still no shots to be hit. Very daunting. This does bring into question the validity of those who say that the Rifle League should be closer. It does indeed. Some say that the well, Musket gentlemen, League of our forefathers was simply just better. And I'll have to gentlemen, I also have right to now. say that this 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 whole bladed reloading. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do think uh, there there is a certain amount of credence it, to be first, given to. This is the first time I've ever seen reloading. bladed reloading. Yes, very interesting. Bladed reloading is just something that I have not. You know, senior, we're looking at someone instead of, you know, reloading head on facing the enemy, he's facing the wall. And in fact, he's actually quick timing to and fro between the wall at the current moment. Very he's like a, like a little toy soldier. He's currently guarding Buckingham Palace right now. Some may say that this simply this, this is incredible to watch. Is in Cornwallis's favor as he utilizes the stone wall. Though, same could be said about Racer using the bushes. Well, gentlemen. Gentlemen, I'm looking at these shots right now, and I'm saying, who really has the advantage here? Because neither of them can hit anything, so it doesn't exactly matter who has the advantage. That is true. That is a <clears> fair <throat> point. I'm looking at, you know, what I thought was a duel, what is now a, a quick time in a circle. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, am Maybe I going to have to challenge someone here to a duel? Yeah. Like, am I going to have to challenge someone here to a duel? And if so, who's recording it? Cornwall is walking to and fro the wall while Racer is crouch reloading. That reloading, adds maybe reloading that away from him. Maybe Cornwallis has simply run out of ammo and refuses to admit it. No, gentlemen, he's reloading, but here's the thing. He's going for the about face reload, which is making me think of Of Mice and Men, which is, is this open ambition from Cornwallis that he is, in fact, mentally handicapped. This would prove a lot for other people of other regiments who claim to make such accusations. Maybe so. Maybe they, racers, they, they don't even claim spamming. They, they quite openly make these accusations. It's, you know, it's been said multiple times. You know, Cornwallis is mentally disabled. This Cornwallis is mentally disabled. That will we ever truly know? I suppose if he gets shot here, we'll know. Uh, racer is, this is I will say, spamming. Not I will concerned. Say, this does give validity to the claim that the Seventh Ohio is an E tier regiment. As these are some very E tier shots this game. Gentlemen, I would say this might even be F tier. Cornwallis I, seems to be quick timing towards his enemy. Oh, this is incredible. Is this a submission? I'm currently looking at a quick time advance. For a strategy to get himself quick closer. Time quick times without reloading, giving Racer time to easily shoot him as he's closer. Very brave. Racer but not also taking foolish. the shot. Is this Instead, honor? choosing to taunt. Wow. Very honorable. This by is a Racer. battle of ego, gentlemen. Battle of ego, but also of honor. Very honorable. To let his opponent reload, making it an equal. That incredible. is something that we will have to say about Racer. That it is very honorable of him. Incredible, incredible. Oh, here comes the counter shot. Ooh, 
Misses. Oh, Cornwallis very close. Falling back. <clears throat> Cornwallis may be scared. Maybe. That shot did flinch him. Racer taking this time to reload, get his load in before Cornwallis can as he's retreating. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to Cornwallis and get a good shot on him. Let's see let's see what's going on in his mento. Absolutely. Right shoulder shifting. Now, you know, right now it looks like he's kind of just standing arms. There. He's going Cornwallis, through the motions of his life. Do you have anything to say to the nice people at home about this duel? Seems fuck racer. Oh. He says, fuck racer. This truly is a grudge match. Oh. Very close shot. Narrowly Man, missing him. hit me like he hits his sister. Oh. Only thing Racer can hit is his sister. You heard it here, folks. Cornwallis is not only confident, but he is salty. Oh, Racer has seemed to have gotten closer as well, though not as close as Cornwallis did in his brazen advance. Oh my goodness, Racer moving even closer. Both moving up at the same time, at the quick time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an ultimate flex from both sides. Razor, oh, Razor. stopping, aiming. Hey. Will this be the kill? No. And he fucking whiffs the shot. And he fucking the shot. Both men now getting closer, maybe being fed up. Oh, Racer teabagging, taunting him time to, to shoot taunt. him. Cornwallis double timing after getting his reload. He wants to put this to bed. Oh, can Bracer reload quick enough? One may call in question the honor of Cornwallis in doing this. Bracer retreating, though it may not save him as Cornwallis is quickly gaining ground. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like we will get an end to this battle here. Oh, the final shot ending the match! Ladies and gentlemen, what a spectacular show. With three seconds left on the clock, this brings us to our end. Ladies and gentlemen, what a long, drawn-out grudge match with, frankly, a a very unexpected ending. This very is something unexpected. that has never been seen before in this the is, Extreme Musket League. In the Extreme Musket League, this may be the longest match ever recorded on paper. With so, Thorn taking now, the gold. Some may, some may call into question the honor of Corn baiting out the shot and then charging. What do you think, Partly? I do These think the time was running low, and what we know is industry. both contestants the officially lose if time runs out. I think Korn simply did the smart thing and risked his life to secure the win. Civil War bridges the clock was ticking Elmer. down. Union engineers had erected a pontoon bridge in early As our shooting expert, what is your thoughts on that? Potomac River well, gentlemen, the Maryland Heights. you know, I thought it was a very, very interesting duel to watch, and I thought it ended in, um, quite frankly, a way that I would consider, um, you know, uh, disappointing for the suspenseful events that happened. But what this really has me wondering is, who's next? And as well as what do they teach you about shooting in the 7th Ohio? Such a exactly. The real question is, who taught you all how to shoot? The next morning left the town. Very good questions, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the annual Long Range Musket League, Extreme Musket League, as some call it colloquially. Uh, have a good night, kiss your maiden, and remember, the Union shall win. Finally, and as well, a special Huzzah. thanks to Harper's Ferry for allowing us to do this. Thank you to the Harper's Ferry Arms Company for providing the bullets and weapons used in this match. Cordwallis, Cordwallis, how does it feel to be the winner? The Seventh Ohio Regiment duel. I'm going to Disneyland, man. I'm going to Disney. You're going to Disneyland. I've never been, but I heard it's great there. And obviously, you're well. Your point, your point is going in a Pinewood box. Yeah, he's going with me. He's my trophy. 
He's your trophy. You're bringing Racer's uh, mm -hmm. cadaver to Disney World, to Orlando. I thought, I thought even though his soul's not there, his body should have a chance of experiencing some sort of happiness in his life. Uh, how do you feel about this one, Racer? My body hurts! Uh, I'm sure it does. That didn't look like a good shot. I, good I can't feel my legs! Yeah, yeah, save it for uh, after the game. Back to the, okay, back to the winner. So, uh, Cornwallis, we saw some Racer's pretty- a bitch. Yeah, we saw some pretty interesting strategies. Do you mind explaining that during this uh, this tar this duel? Yeah, so um, basically I was trying to actually make Racer run out of ammo at first. I was uh, letting him shoot one or two times before I would reload and finish reloading. Um, I knew he couldn't hit shit. I've seen him at the shooting range. Man, have you seen him at the Artie Man? He sucks major ass. If he can't hit shit with the Artie Man, man, he's not gonna hit shit with anything else. He was using round ball too. And I get it. I know. I know I didn't hit him at range, but let's let's look back at the footage and see who fired more shots. I was holding back. He was giving it his all. He's I just see. not. He's just not. You know, you know. He's just not up here. I'm a higher level. I'm quite simply elite. Hmm. That's very interesting. Many in the community see you as a kind of idiot savant, maybe. Oh, I agree. So you agree that you are a idiot savant? <laughs> Your regiment. Yep, we're the best E tier regiment around. That's, we own that. I like to see that positivity, you know. My dad always used to say, don't let negativity bring you down, let it bring you up. You know, strive to be better. No, we're not going up. We're, we don't want to graduate out of E tier. We're, we're not graduating. You're strong, strong E tier. We're staying in E tier. Nubis, we are having many fans ask him about the honor of the battle. Does oh, he yes. think it's honorable? Yeah, do you think your opponent and you yourself are honorable today? No, oh, me? Hell yeah, him? Um, he plays Minecraft. Oh, uh, let me interview him. Hey, uh, buddy, wake up. You still, you still here with us? Hello? I'm here! Do you, do you think you were honorable this duel? And what about your opponent? Was he honorable? No, fuck that guy! <laughs>